<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Unstable, episode 7. Lucky number 7. Did Ugh. you know in some cultures, 7 is actually bad luck? Like it's is a it? bad luck number? Yeah. I thought 13 was like one of the only bad luck numbers. I think like in our society, yeah. If you guys hear noises, it's our cats playing because... They're rumbling around. Oh, he just shot the toy into the little basket. Eight ball, Bree's cat, the other day while we were sleeping, he jumped across. They like to jump at like our pillows, like into our face. Because Muji tried to do it to me this morning, but like I kind of stopped him. <laughs> but eight ball the other morning, he jumped up and fully ran across my face. It woke me up and I woke up with like a little scratch on my forehead. Just a little baby scratch. Just know some if cats, it was just know cats? if it was Muji. You would have been like, I wouldn't even have told you. I wouldn't even have told you, honestly. What I did do today, though, on accident, I accidentally locked Moochie in the closet for over an hour. I didn't know he was in there. He was crying. He got stressed out. When he gets stressed, his nose turns pale, and he had that happen to him today because she locked him in the closet. Okay. She locked him in the closet is wild. I, you locked no because I heard it was her do open it. I for like two it seconds too, and then I was like, "Hey," because the eight ball started to go in there, so I was like, "Get out, get out!" There was nothing there. He was deep in there. That closet, you can't see the floor. Like he was back in there, and so I shut the door. You're like, "Yes, shut my door! Don't leave it open." Well, you yeah, because you were watching. You were the one in my closet looking for something. I grabbed something and put something on. And in those it, few seconds. You know how quick they are, Rob? Like, I'd be, like, turning around, and they're, like, well, there. Yeah, they appear out of nowhere. For a long time. It was over an hour. It was over it an was hour, for sure. Over it hour. was over an hour. Because we watched, it's like, awful. a couple episodes, and then, like, we were, like... I think I went out to the bodega yeah, real quick, yeah, even before no. we watched the two episodes. No, because that's when I went in your, I went in your room after... So we watched two episodes. But still, he was locked in there. And, you know, we heard 8-Ball crying, but we didn't know what he was crying about. Like, usually he'd just be meowing when he's bored. He'll literally just walk around the house meowing at nothing. So yeah. it's like, sometimes we just let him be. <laughs> you were trying to go, come here. No, come I really here. was. I was like, what was he doing? But then I was like. We were hearing noises. I heard it like bang. Like I think 8-Ball like was trying to door. open the door. Yeah. Because that's what he does. Yeah. he al- They always protect each other. No, yeah, April. Even April cries even when like someone's holding Moochie. Like he'll cry. Oh at us yeah, for holding Moochie. And like, then the minute we put him down, he starts like licking Moochie and yeah. cleaning him up. Because Moochie doesn't like being picked up. He doesn't. <laughs> no, I think Moochie's it's so funny. funny like, cause some cats don't care, but the cats that like w- like that get like spazzed out and they're like stiff when you're trying to hold them, and it's like, bro, relax, so relax. Tense. And I'm like, you. Can- He's up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like, calm hurt down. You. No one's gonna hurt you, bro. I was in, th- I was in the bodega the other day, and they had like the little cat, um, Lulu. Oh yeah. I was. She was literally out right at the floor, right at the entrance, by a woman's feet. Like she was um getting a scratch on. Bodega cats love people. They love people. So she, he, the, the little cat, was just like by her feet. So I went and I greeted her, and I was like petting her a little bit. And the woman started talking to me about her cat. And then the guy, the bodega guy, he asked me. He was like. Like, what do you have? Like, and I was like, we have two boys. And she was like, and they all like, they were like, they were saying comments. They were like, oh, okay. And then she was saying about her cat. And she was like, he's very mean. Like, he doesn't let anyone like touch him. He's mm-hmm. very aggressive. And I was like, oh, um, I was like, how long have you had him? Like, is he older? Is he like a yeah. baby? And she was like, no, he's a little older. She's like, she got him. From also, if you get him, I was that's, like, and I was like, oh, why. he's probably he's, sadly he's probably abused. Yeah, and that's why he's just yeah, not and also let you. just like being in a shelter in a cage if it's not a great place like obviously they're scared they don't know anything no but then she no she they only get comfortable with the owner that no, then think. she said she was like no yeah i remember the paperwork it said he was abused and i was like Aww. yeah i'm See, like at least he's in a better home now but though. like i was but like, that's why he doesn't I like strangers like older people like i mean older cats like that tend to not like other people acclimate to anyone new ever again she was saying with them like he like the cat won't cuddle with them mm. like she tries to like pet him and he's like no he's traumatized yeah it's bad I, so it makes sad. me so sad no because you have you ever seen like the cat distribution system and it's like if you and like sometimes people will post a video and it's like a cat that they, they saw on the street that like came up to them and then everyone will comment like cat distribution system like that means you, that's your cat like you don't ever uh. go out to seek a cat it's like when 
the opportunity happens like that means that's your cat so like i think about it too like even my last three cats like when i lived in florida with my parents like when we ever we got a cat it was because it was like found and like we're like okay this is this is this is our this is our cat and uh, this one guy posted a video and it was like a kitten and the kitten came right up to him and was rubbing on him and he picked him up and suddenly a whole family of kittens came out and was like meow meow just all they around all him it. and he was like no no <laughs> no but he ended up taking them all no because we the first year out here we were looking for a cat and it was intensely it intensely. was hard and, it and, didn't the come. Is, and we knew at that time we, we knew we weren't gonna get one in that moment we knew it was gonna come when it was meant to come but we were like we're gonna try to make it happen. Like we went out that yeah. day hunting. We did, we and were, it's a, because we it, wasn't over, ready, it wasn't we ready. It wasn't ready. It wasn't. It wasn't meant it to be. It comes when it needs to come. We didn't get the cats till our second year out here, f- through a friend. Like she knew someone. She got a cat, and then we got siblings of that cat yeah. too. So, yeah. cat and it distribution worked out system. Cat. It worked out better because it was free cat. Yeah. Free cat. Yeah. yeah. We were gonna go pay for a cat. Yeah. The first year we were like. <laughs> yeah. We were gonna. We weren't buying it. We were still adopting it, yeah. but it was a fee for like if they're already neutered or spayed, which would have been better. Which would have been nice. Well, usually people do it right away, but I know we did. I didn't have any money, and then Hadaya wanted to wait for me. So the thing it's is, because like, I was like, I didn't ever had a cat, so I was like, I didn't think it was a big deal. I didn't know they go crazy. It's not with a the big spray. deal until they get to a certain but point. But I didn't know that. And that's that. the thing. It, it, it Moochie did it way faster. Moochie did than it first. That's why I always thought he was older because I'm like, he and sometimes they <laughs> don't spray. Sometimes they don't. But sometimes both of they them don't. did. But then they ended up, yeah. Both of them did. Moochie did it at our last place, and Eight Ball started doing it. He once didn't do we it until here. we moved here. Yeah. Oh, that was that was a long period. This room actually that we filmed the podcast was like the spray room. It just yeah, smelled he would like just came spray. in here, and like finally <laughs> once we so got neutered, we had to like do a deep clean and like. Actually, and I was, it was like there was so much when we were cleaning it. I remember I was like, this it was, is it was a ridiculous. lot. It was a lot. I ended up like, I purposely like, cause I tried here, and the New York prices for a neuter is insane. Like I'd call places and they'd be like a thousand dollars. And the or thing more. is, she called a place that I had went to. They even not went up ago? like another two hundred dollars more. The prices went up. Like. like it is actually insane and like ended up taking him to Florida and getting it done for 70 bucks at a shelter. The shelters here, yeah, that'd be one store. It would be free because most places are, they are free to get it neutered yeah. and like the necessary vaccines, it's free. But here, New York is so populated and there's like, there's a wait list. They're overpopulated that. Yeah, I got so excited once because I got on the list and then I realized and I was like, oh, perfect. It's for this month. I realized it said the month I was looking, but the next year, I was like, yeah, that's not going to happen. But it all worked out. No, they're both fine now, but I'm just waiting for them to, like, calm down and get to their, like, chill age. I'm like, I, I'm, like, over this, like, zoomy phase of, like, terrible twos. That's what it feels no, like. No, you just need to plump Moochie up. I do need to plump And he'll Moochie calm up. down a little bit. But honestly, it's April, too. April's annoying. At like six a.m. Not by you himself know, though. It's Sometimes Mochi, it is a ball. No, but if I you swear, tell Mushi to lay down. Bri, bri, I mean, bri. if you tell a ball lay down, he'll relax. I swear, there's times where Mushi's sitting on my couch and a is standing around, walking around the ca- uh, my room, meowing, just crying. That's because they want to be fed, and we had this conversation earlier. You give in. You yeah, give in. They piss me off. <laughs> piss me off. And I just want to sleep sometimes, so I just feed them so I can go to sleep. <laughs> I'm not ready for kids. <laughs> no, never, clearly. You don't have the I've patience. I never said you don't I, have I don't patience. have the patience. And what's funny is I used to think I had patience when I was younger, and I did. And I lost it. I lost all my patience. What What, what do you mean when you were younger, you had patience? No, when, when I was kid, younger. Yeah, you're like, when yeah, I was a kid. I can have kids when you were a kid. No, bro. What the? Um, no. I'm well, you said about, I used to when I was No, young. like patience in general with people, not even with just children. I'm talking about with people. Oh. Like I used like. When I was younger, my family would always be like, you're very patient. Like, you have a lot of patience. I, I lost. Like, I don't, I'm not very, I'm like, I get very antsy now. Like, I'm not as patient as I used to be. Like, mm-hmm. I have a very, like, short fuse is what I was saying. So it's like. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I'm saying I agree. Like, you yep. have a short fuse. 
what was it the other day oh my gosh there was an old lady at the bus stop and she she was just an old lady and she was just like oh the bus never comes and to be fair the bus never comes at time and but i told her oh it says it's coming in six minutes and then like a minute goes by and she's like it's one, already been six one minutes. minute and Hedaya, went by Hedaya is like under mumbling breath, very under loudly breath. though no i was, she was not like, loudly i heard you and she You're was right on the other side me. of me she was Anyway, people cannot hear. She goes, what did she say? I said it's not even been six. I minutes. said it has not been. And she, I, I, I see her like rolling her eyes, going like, like and I'm like, it's, it's okay, girl. First of all, I did not go like this. Yeah, you did. You, you're like, it's not even. Been, it's not. You, you did tuck not your look scarf at in me. like this. You, you did, did not even look at me. You were yes, I did. I was up. like, stop, stop. Daya, what do you I, mean? Because all I did was say, it has not been six minutes. In this tone, like very quietly, she did not hear me. You heard me because you're standing this close to me. Okay, right? it's not even all about that. Also, Moochie's playing with the headphones. It's not even all about that. I'm just saying, you you have short fuse. I was like, it's okay. That's not a short it fuse. Okay. I, I just sometimes have to get out my thoughts. So yeah, I had to say in that moment and I whispered it. With your faces. She was on the other side. She was not looking at me. She did not say that. No, I know she didn't. She, she didn't like, see or hear you. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, geez, it's okay. Who cares? Let her I just, wait. Yeah, she can wait. Like, that's what I'm saying. It had been one minute. She ended up waiting it out. No, she left. No, she didn't. She got on the bus. She went and checked at the thing, and but the bus back. came. She can't got on that bus. She was standing right next to me. On the bus. When uh, I was sitting down, she, she said, standing. let me get next to you. No, yeah, because I remember when I looked at you and you said you wanted something outside, I went, you're sick, and she looked at me dead in my eyes. <laughs> I'm like, I was not What did I want? Oh. Um, so we adopted a dog. Well. We won him. We won him, but he's in a better home now. His name is Damien, and he has a bunny sweatshirt. I think he's adorable. He's so cute. Yeah, we won him at a little park day we had with some friends, and we played some games, and me and Brie won. Oh, yeah, because we're winners. We're pretty good at games, you know? (laughs) I feel like if he didn't have the sweater, though, he wouldn't be as cute. No, I was like, oh, he's adorable because look look at this pink sweater. sweater. This little pink sweater. It's such a cute color. No, he's adorable. Bro, Brie sent me. You airdropped me this picture from, like, (laughs) maybe a year ago, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. And I had my lashes. I had the lash extensions that, like, you do at home. It's when we first, like, found them. It's when I first them. got it was the them. first pack. It, yeah, I did not know which pack. The second pack I got was, like, a good no, pack. I have a picture of the pack right after that one. And I was like, ooh. No, we're going to insert a picture of how these lashes looked. They looked wild they look like those like mega mega volume like lashes they were so thick they just give like okay do you know how like when like you know the trend like british girl makeup yes so it's like (laughs) i'm sorry she just spit (laughs) and it almost hit me it Uh, didn't though anyways you know the british girl makeup trend mm -hmm. like the thick lashes i think when i first started doing snapchat I had those lashes, and I think that's why I got onto, like, I got so many on, like, I got so many comments from people in, like, London, or, like... Oh, my god! And I think it's because, like, Snapchat thought I was one of those girlies. I'm, 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 I'm you know, that British. No, yes. My lashes, it was, it was giving that. And at that time, like, I was editing my photos in a very weird way, so... But also... No, because I, I don't know if you zoomed into your eye on the photo. It's so funny, because it's, like, all damn near the same size and then the one in your inner corner is like like it's like shorter it was bad i i but the thing is like I, you know when you don't realize you don't know when we first put them we're like oh no yes. you had them on too you had them yes on i'll see i'll see if i can find a photo too because i have that, that day we were taking photos oh yeah those were but bad. they were bad yeah they were not the look but we it was just that them. pack and the thing is some girls when they go to the like salons and stuff and get lash extensions they get that to each their own teach their own it's I think, true i think but un- there's memes about it now it's no, like there remember is, when all the girls used to do this with lashes there is, but i think only certain eyes can actually pull it off because i've seen on certain people and it doesn't look that wild like i think on really? like my eye it's or your eye it would look bush. wild it's just a thick bush i'm gonna show you someone later okay i feel like i still see girls on tiktok constantly like i see a lot of girls. the only girl i see on tiktok that has lashes like that that tara girl not tara yummy it's that tara's world girl oh, uh, I, know you're talking I think about. she was the one that was like finna be in the pit remember i i know her i've i've seen her videos a lot i know who you're talking about yeah yeah 
She has lashes like that. She does. She does. Those don't look good. <laughs> they I don't. don't think those they don't. That's I don't I'm think saying. those are good. But I, that's not who I was thinking of. Who makes it look good? Like who I who, 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 or who I wear. I get what you mean. I get what you mean, girl. It's okay. And you know what? There, that girl Tara Yummy actually. She, I I think I told you. I, like I saw a clip of her, and she was saying that she took Theraflu. And then, like, it became, like, a habit that she just, like, took it to go to sleep. Mm. But one time, I took Theraflu. It was my first time. And I was really sick, like, sore throat, everything. And I didn't know. I didn't pay attention. I took two Tylenols before that. And then a whole cup of Theraflu, one portion. And her sister was in town visiting. So she yeah. was trying to feel better so she could, like, go out that night. Out. We were like, going to go to the, like, Rock- Rockefeller. Yeah. Yeah, basically, I took my nap because I took, I remember I left school early that day and I took a nap. And it, like, it knocked me out. It did put me to sleep. But when I woke up, back up. See, that's the thing. If I wasn't going, it would have been fine. I would have went to sleep and you feel yeah. better. I was trying to get up to go. I got so high. I drugged myself. I drugged myself. My eyes were huge bowling balls. They were dilated. They were really it was I literally didn't know what to do. I was just, like, sitting, and, like, I was kind of just sitting there and just staring. I was just thinking, like, wow. Like, I literally, and then I was, like, what do I do? And, like, I was, like, there's no way I could go out. You have to come. We were, like, you have to come. Like, she's here for such a little time. Like, you just have to, like, suck it up. Did I meet you guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went. She followed behind, like, literally, like, 30 minutes later. We were, like, you should have just came with us. No, because I took a shower. I know, but we should have just tried to, like, get myself together, and I was, like, you know what? I'm just going to ride it. But I was, like, ever since then, I was, like, scared to, like, take it again. But then I was just, like, no, I can't just mix it in. You can't, no, you just can't take it with an Advil or Tylenol. Yeah, well, Advil and ibuprofen is different. Tylenol and Tylenol have the same incetamethaphine, incetamethaphine, something like that. So, like, you can't take too much of that because, like, obviously, and I, my body was like, huh? No, we took the Theraflu last time we were sick, and it was Oh, fine. my gosh. He's making biscuits at the bottom of my foot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> People. back to by mistake drugging yourself i've had bad experience with medicine but not in that way i didn't drug myself <laughs> i was basically drugged if you would say <laughs> no because this it i would never do this to honestly self. this is worse than my I, I you know at least i i rode the high this is just trauma <laughs> it's traumatizing for life no literally okay so in in the Middle East, and also I know in a lot of other countries, when you're sick and when you're a young kid, they have these, like, <laughs> large-ish pills that go up your butt when you have a fever. And it's to reduce the fever. And for some reason, that's the only way it can happen. Who knows why? When I was a kid, I would get sick monthly. Like, once a month, I would actually get sick. Fever, full throat, like, swollen. Like, it was bad. Was it before your period or after? I'm just This curious. was, like both like okay. it got worse because i'm just period. curious because i know when it you- got worse once i started having my period but it was even before my period like when i was like, like young um but one time when i was in lebanon i got sick um while i was there and everyone was telling my mom like this is what you have to give her like th- we're here like this is what they have like these are the options wait were you in lebanon i was in lebanon uh... and that's why they were like this is like telling my mom like this is our options like you like you see, the- that makes sense. I always wondered what. Oh! Oh my god, my baby fell! Come on, come on. Come back up. Um, I was always curious because I was going to say, like, because I know you said it was something in the Middle East, but I always thought, like, I mean, why couldn't she just given you anything else? But it makes sense we if were you were there Lebanon, and that's yeah. all there was. Oh, no, yeah. So I remember, and the thing is, you are not allowed to use the bathroom for like a good 30 minutes to an hour after you take the medicine and you always feel the need to use the bathroom because it's like there's something up your butt but like you feel that and like my i would literally be like telling my mom, like i have to use the bathroom. She's like no you have to wait for it to dissolve or else no, you just poop it out and then it's no, gone and no, so wasted no. and then we did all this for nothing we would literally do it like they would do it in the middle of the day because i had to take it like twice a day i think so, like, in the middle of the day, it was just done in the little parlor room where anyone could just walk in on me, just see me, but whatever. But one time, and it felt like a dream because... <laughs> a was, nightmare. It felt like a nightmare because it was the most horrifying thing. The most horrifying thing. 
But it's also so funny. It's the way I picture it, and I asked my mom this, and she was like, it didn't happen that way. And I was like, my brain added things on. So this is what my brain added on. I was sleeping upstairs in Lebanon in the bed, and I wake up to my, I'm laying on my stomach. And I wake up to my mom and my aunt, like, holding me down. <laughs> <laughs> trying to put this pill in and i like see thunder flashing with like rain like it sounds like it's raining like it's literally like a horror movie like they're flashing lights and i asked my mom like years later i was like was it like raining that night and she's like no and i'm like wow my brain was so horrified i was like uh, yeah in and out like <laughs> i mean maybe it was maybe she was just trying to make it you know more light-hearted I don't that know. my brain imagined. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, because I swear, like, I feel like a lot of kids have had, like, experience with those. No, because I remember you I brought it up people. and people were like, oh, I know exactly no, what you're talking about. No, because I know in, like, Spanish countries, it's not just Middle Eastern countries, mm. it's like a lot of other countries do, that's, like, what the kids use. It's for, just like, like why does it have wild. to why? I mean, For obviously now I feel like a lot of people have other... It's the same thing when they ask children to put, like, the thermometer up the butt to take the temperature. Like, and they say that's the best way. But it's like, why is that the best way? Like, you can <laughs> get a different way. Like, I'm or sorry. Or how did you discover that that would yeah. be the best way? Who was the person? Because maybe we should talk to them. Yeah. No, because I watched a TikTok of, like, a mom. Like, she had to, an emergency where she took her kid into the hospital. And she was explaining how they asked if they could, like, Jeez. put them on. And she was like, no. No, no, you can put like from under the arm and get it that way. And they did that. And I was like, if there's another option, why are you going Jeez. with the most invasive one? Like, yeah. I don't get that. Yeah. Like, you can have a different way, but I don't get it. Like, I'd rather stay sick at that point. I'm <laughs> like, sorry. You are into a kid. That's like, what why I'm are saying. You the like, most, that's like, all they're going to remember mm, from being sick. No, yeah. Like, that story of with you and the thunder and the lightning, like i have like this a visual too now like i've heard the story so many times and it's just so it's traumatized me and it's i wasn't even there it didn't even happen to me but it's hit just as hard because what the heck no it's it, it's, it's also wild. like waking up to that i'm sorry like that's like you're already like so you know struck and it. like out of it when you wake up so waking up to that is a whole nother and thing you ask me why i don't like people waking me up it's I'm funny because, like, you always get so antsy and stuff before I even touch you to wake you up. I just open the door and you're just like, I don't like being, <laughs> I don't like someone touching me awake. It scares me. No, because I've noticed, like, if I wake you up and I, like, touch you, I get worried you're going to, like, jerk up or, like, react, but you don't. And you're just like, you just open your eyes and you're just like, what? And I'm just yeah, like, yeah, no. I would expect you to, like, when I touch you, I kind of touch you and I'm like, because I feel like you're going to, like, you should know by now I that I don't No, I know, but that's, like, what I would do. Like, I would react like that mm-hmm. because, like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like someone touching you while you're sleeping, like, it's scary. Even from, like, Isn't screaming and stuff. Like, I will still wake up. Like, I'll just, sh- the most I'll do is, like, shoot straight up. Oh. But, like, I won't, like. No, I wake up frantic. No, you're frantic. I, I, I like, frantic. I showed you the other day. You would, you roll and fully, like, do a 360 with your body. It's so funny, and you do it every time. <laughs> I wish, like, I could, like, act it out, but I'm not getting No, it. no, I, I just, it's because I'm, like, trying to, like, n- you know, center myself, see where I am, feel it no, out. No, it's literally what feel you're doing. Feel out the vibes, because I'm, like, did I wake up somewhere new? Like, am I somewhere <laughs> else? Like, I don't know. I was going to talk about, because I thought about, like, two random stories of where I've, like, gone hurt as a kid. And it's oh, it was always like with my siblings because I was always trying to keep up with them because well, they course. were they were so much and older. You're the than youngest, me. I'm yeah. the youngest. They're all like, at least the youngest is like eight years older than me. They're all a lot older than me. So like by the time I was like a kid, they were in their teens. So like mm-hmm. I'm trying to keep up with them. I remember one time we were at the mosque and like late after dinner. It was like a long night. I think it was during Ramadan. I'm pretty sure it was during Ramadan. So, like, we were staying at the mosque late during, like, doing stuff. Mm -hmm. We eat there, like, the sahur, and then we leave in the morning. Mm -hmm. We were outside playing in, like, the streets. It was by... It was by... They used to have a mosque by the beach and, like, over there by the Krispy Kreme. I don't know if you know it. The one that had, like, the glass. Oh, no, by the... By the... Yeah. Yeah. Where they had the Krispy Kreme with the glass and they showed the little... Yeah. It was right by there. So 
3 a.m. We're running down the street, like playing tag or whatever, doing something Please. random. Do something random. I'm chasing them. I'm chasing my brothers. I remember I was trying to keep up with them. And I fell, scraped both <laughs> knees, elbows, all four, bleeding, like bad scrape, like all the way down, blood gushing. Were you crying? I was screaming. I was eight years old. I was like a kid. I was screaming. I was crying. I was, I was the baby. I was the baby, and I played that role. We got home. I was sitting in the counter, center. Everyone's around me while they're pouring alcohol, and I'm screaming again. Jeez. Well, they're cleaning the wounds. You know, they have to. That's true. But, but like, it's always the worst thing because it's like, (laughs) you're a kid. I mean, those, like, those pain, like, on sidewalks used to be the worst as a kid. No, yeah, it... They scrape and burn. And we always did it all the time. Because it's, like, the burn of it. Like, oh, it hurts so bad. Have you ever seen videos of, like, I'm sorry, I go into crazy holes on TikTok. I've said this before. But, like, I was, like, looking up motorcycle crashes. And (laughs) it's not funny. I I think it's funny that I just, like, go through the weirdest holes. It's, like, I've, I've... I'm not a motorcycle girl at all. But anyways, I was like watching a bunch of videos of like accidents and like this one person, like it was like their body cam footage that they had it still. Mm. And they were just this girl. It was a girl. And she was like something happened on the highway and she ended up on the side part of the highway. And so far from her motorcycle, she was fine. But she had the what is it called? Like road rash, road rash. It was it looked awful like no, it motorcycle looked rush? awful and the fact that she w- like she flew she, and no she slid and she was she wearing slid. pants and a long sleeve it was ripped open like her whole leg and her like covered covered Mm-mm. and she was screaming bloody murder like how like she was screaming bloody murder because of the pain of how bad it was that's awful i was like jeez i've never seen anything i don't know why like like i always know like i've heard of like road rash or just like or even like rug burn just like you know scraping you know but i never thought about like oh wow like people who get in crazy accidents like that's probably like they all have like i just never thought about it i never really thought about how bad it could get and it's awful i can't imagine because also like you can't move like when you move like it hurts yeah and especially like once if you like slide and then like if you're stuck under the bike after like Mm -hmm. if when you're like you know, if you would do, when you get off, mm-hmm. I feel like being stuck under is way worse. Yeah. The heavy weight, like on your like, yeah, ribs or like legs. Yeah, thankfully I've never gone into an accident where it's like that. Like the m- craziest accident I got in, like yeah, the ambulance came, but like I was like no, no, like I don't, I'll be fine. If my neck is hurting for the next few weeks, I don't care. But like I never got into an accident where it was like in the hospital bed. No, no, not that bad. Scary, I, though. I think about it, though. I've gotten into one accident where, like, the ambulance came and, like, they were checking me because I had a little slit on my neck. From the seatbelt? From belt. the seatbelt. Okay, but that's, like... No, yeah. My, no, and it's, like, I low-key caused that car accident. Like, it was What did you do? My so, I was, like... I was in the car seat days. I'm in a car seat. So, I'm, like, a kid, kid. You decided to climb out? No, I wasn't doing all that. But it was, like, my mom's minivan. My mom was driving... I think my sister was in the front seat and I was like in the back seat in the like in my seat. But I wasn't like I wasn't allowing my sister to buckle me. But my mom like started driving Mm -hmm. and my sister was trying to like get me to like buckle. And I'm like fighting her. And we had literally just gotten to the CVS right outside my house. Like the um, well, the public same area. Yeah. Like we had just gotten right there. That gas station. We were not far Mm -hmm. from my house. And I think the car from behind us hit our car at the um light and we hit the other car and the jerk like my neck got cut on the seatbelt mm. a little bit and i was bleeding see that that's okay though because if you didn't have your like if it didn't have no, that yeah. you could have jerked your and snapped your necks on something like no but the scary. thing is the seatbelt still wasn't on that's the problem but it stopped you from going no, to yeah, my sister because she, she was, was holding like, it yeah she was trying to do yeah. it yeah that's good she how old were you well, you were in a car seat jeez i was a kid i remember getting a teddy bear of course yeah no i think that i i have ended up in the hospital once i was getting out of the back seat and my mom was putting something in the trunk because we were or she was grabbing something from the trunk because i i don't think we didn't go in 7-eleven yet i because i came out and i shut the car door but i was holding it with my thumb still in and it fully shut and locked 
like the doors locked like i fully shut it snapped it closed so and i'm in kindergarten i just standing there screaming and starting to cry and my mom thought i was like fucking around she didn't take me seriously so it did she didn't like come run right away because it didn't seem yeah and i also like i don't know like i was just like uh, no like, you know i've had I mean? someone think i was joking when i was yeah in pain because like yeah. i'm always making and jokes and then when she realized my hand then when she oh. looked and saw my hand there like, i remember she was freaking out and yeah like it was horrible and i remember we went to the hospital and i'm sorry f that hospital bias because they didn't give it sh- damn I'm Close sitting in the hospital. Mm-hmm. They don't do anything. They don't do anything. They don't do anything. And I'm sitting there in the lobby. At this point, I'm telling you, it fully snapped. So my thumb was flat. Like, it was flat to the point where, like, my nail. your thumb looks normal now. I'm low-key surprised. My never... thumb is okay, but my fingernail is It will never grow the same. Oh. It's all, If I'll show you it. There was so much, like, it's not just that, like, blood came out. It was, like chunks of blood and insides of my finger that were out and i'm just holding i'm just crying hysterical honestly i don't even think it hurt anymore i think i was just crying in the lobby but i think it was a good thing that i was crying lobby because it showed that i was in pain but they still but they no it didn't move they never they never let me in that night i remember my dad even called out of work and he came in i remember him coming into the emergency room nope my mom had a, we went stopped at the walgreens and she picked up like a brace thingy for like a finger like to snap my thumb in and i had to go in the next day or the day after uh, thankfully like my, i didn't break my thumb i don't know how it, it was like squished. it was just squished so much like it didn't hit my bone like it was the tip of my i don't know it was like tendons and sh- it was so bad but they had to burn a hole in my nail because they needed my nail to come off because it was brown like it was like crushed broken and they had to they put this like fire burning hole and they burn a hole in it and after a few days it it come falls off so i remember it looked so nasty it rotted my nail like that hole I had that happen it rotted you. my nail and i remember like showing in school and i remember showing my teacher and all this all that thought i was so cool and then ever <laughs> since then nail. ever since then it just doesn't okay you know how like you have a little like a lighter like little like r- like half a rainbow at the bottom of your nail mm. like and it's like where your cuticle like yeah uh, yeah mine is not one side is a perfect round like half moon yeah the other is like it's like a bunch scraggly? of lines it's scraggly it's like it's just lines oh no your cuticles are it's weird but the fact that they never helped me no because i was gonna say the one time i went to like ho- like that hospital when i passed out at like third grade we waited there all day and night. And honestly, I don't think we got saw that night. You probably didn't. I'm pretty sure we went you home. You probably did I'm didn't. pretty sure we went home that night. I had passed out and they weren't doing anything. And my yeah. mom was like trying to have me like play it up and be like, tell them you're dizzy. Like no. tell them like, like, cause they won't Clearly, do anything. Clearly I was like, screaming do bloody anything. murder and, and they didn't do anything. Her is like cut off. <laughs> it's funny that that happened to you because I remember when it was the first time I, first and only time I've ever went to Pakistan. Mm-hmm. With my, um, it, I went with my mom and my brother, I think, and my sister, maybe, yeah. But we were all, we would, like, they have, like, I think we were on a layover somewhere, and they have, like, prayer rooms. Mm-hmm. So we stopped, we went to pray, and my brother went to the men's side, and we were all on the women's side. And I remember, I think I was going to him, so I was trying to leave through the door, but he was also trying to open the door. So he pushed it out, and I was right there, <laughs> and it went on my foot. And it completely pushed my nail off that I screamed so loud and echo went through the entire room. My mom heard it and I was literally on the floor screaming, crying. I was crying so much for the rest of the trip. My toe was messed up and we had to wait for the toenail to fall off. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't go to the hospital. We just raw dog. Yeah, I mean, something like that. You can't really do anything. You just raw dog. So it was just my t- we just waited for the- i remember i was waiting for my toenail to fall off and it was so ugly and so painful for so long it's funny because i think my toenail fell off too once but i don't remember what it was from like when i was a how kid, you got like how it that happened but were you the friend who got hit by a bowling ball on your foot no that was my cousin though. no i do remember in high cousin, school though the same thing happened someone opened the door and i was outside the door waiting for the bathroom so was that and it, toenail came no 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 that was when i was older it was something when i was a kid where oh. like my toenail got messed up 
or maybe I'm just mistaking it from my thumb. Maybe it was just my thumb. But oh. I did hurt my toenail really bad that time. Like it was, it, it cracks in the middle, and I, I, it was so painful. I just waited for it to grow out. Seka one time, um, Seka's my stepmom. She was at the Keys and got bit by a crab on her toe, and then her after a few days, her toenail fell off. Wait, it what? Purple and Wait, her toenail. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens when a crab bites you. I don't know. It pinched her freaking big toe, and <gasps> like it eventually turned purple. I and wonder fell how. Off. I wonder how it feels like a crab bite. I don't want. I don't want. No, I don't want to know. But like, you know how like a jellyfish. Like, I understand that it's like a sting and it like lasts long. So it's like, is that like it lasts like a pain? Like you can feel it. It's a pinch. Imagine someone. It's a pinch gripping onto your. I can imagine it. Honestly, but like, I can imagine that. But like, but does it last for a while, or is it just in that moment where it hurts? I think in the moment afterwards, it's like sore and painful because it was pinched so hard. Was it a big crab? I'm going to ask her if she has any pictures. I have no crab? idea. Ooh. I have no idea. But scary because I don't know. Mm-mm. Anything from the sea ocean creatures, biting me? Yeah, no. Jellyfish? Or even just regular animals. Like, I have a fear of getting attacked by them. Bears? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? I went into a hole of that, too, of bear attacks and, like, how you have to, like, fight back with them. Did you see the thing where it was, like, I would ra- would you rather be trapped in the forest with a bear or a man? It was like, I'd rather be with a bear. <laughs> I've never seen that, but you know No, what? it was like a lot of women were saying, like, I would actually rather be trapped with a bear. Yeah. Because, like, depends men... what kind of bear. It depends what bear. There's that one but... bear that you can't fight back. Like, you have to run okay, for your life. Okay, okay, yeah, but, like, a men man? They could do a lot of bad things. They That's could do just a lot of scary bad... thought. Like, a man in the woods? Are you serious? No, I saw Put one thing that it was, like... Put me up. It was, like something something like what would you do with like a room full of men like who would you like pick and like the video was just the girl banging on the door help help like it's like why the frick would you want to be alone with a room full of men are you kidding me it was so no, funny i have seen that i have seen that one. no it's a sound and people like always yeah. use it because we were talking about like painful little things it just it's reminding me of every little painful little thing all the pain in my all life the little all the little bruises i have no, because I remember one time, the little, in Margate, there's a water park. Oh, I know exactly what water park you're talking about. <laughs> my dad took me one day. We had a little, we had a little day with us. It was so fun. It was cute. It was cute. Lasted 10 minutes. <laughs> Lasted 10 minutes, bro. I couldn't get a day. I couldn't get a day. It was just 10 minutes while we were there. I went on the slide maybe twice. The next time I went on the slide... They had a little vent at the bottom, right at the bottom of the slide, and I plunged, and, like, I guess my feet were out too far, and my foot hit the bottom of the vent, and there was a thick bobby pin. Like, (gasps) no lie, this long and thick. It went through your foot? It went fully through my foot. (gasps) I had a hole under on my foot for, like, the longest time. I probably still do. Um, Like, like you can see a mark. It went fully in my foot. And the thing is, when I felt it, it was like, you know when, like, it's so, like, fast, you kind of don't feel it? No, you don't. I've you had don't things really, yeah, go yeah. into my foot Like, you before. don't really feel it. Like, it's so quick. I was like, ow, but I was like, not bad. Yeah. So I took a step because the water wasn't deep. And so I took a step it. and I felt it. I was like, oh, ow, that hurts. And then I, like, I'm swimming and I lift up my foot. And my dad is standing right there because he saw my face when I took a step. Like, and I was like. And I picked up my foot, and I was just, like, shocked at how long that bobby pin was. Like, I had Jeez. never seen a bobby pin that big before in my life. Jeez. I was so shocked. And I had to – it was so sad because, mind you, everyone is staring at me now. Right. First of all, I was already the, the little – The lady was I like, was already, oh, shoot, where's my bobby pin? I was already the little, only Muslim girl there, fully clothed. So I already felt like everyone was staring everyone at was me. Looking. So now they're all looking at me for sure. And I'm dragging my foot across to the stand. Blood. blood. <laughs> a whole trail. A whole trail of blood from there to the um, little office they have. Jeez. And I'm just like, and the thing is when I was sitting in the office, I remember just looking back when the man came to mop it up. And I was like, I felt like, I felt so bad. Like, I just felt like that whole day Jeez. was just a mess. No, I've had, I've stepped on an earring before and like, it was like a weird feeling. in the Like, it hurt. But it wasn't like a pain that I would. It's like a weird type of. uh, Yeah, it's so different. Yeah, it feels weird. It it just hurts to walk. But like, I don't know how to explain it. But I know that feeling of like something underneath there. I remember I couldn't walk on my foot for a little bit. Like it hurt every time I took a step. I only. Okay, this is not the same thing. But because I only thought of it because of the time when I stepped on an earring. It was around the same time. I was. 
a troublemaker child. Like I just would whine and complain. My favorite thing to say was when I when I was like pissed at my parents, I'd be like, "You're fired! You're <laughs> fired!" Like I swore that that was like a bad. I mean, it is a bad thing, but I use that as an insult to them like when you're they were firing like, yep. them from being when they your told parents. me I couldn't do something, I would just say, "You're fired." Um, it's funny now and like now that I think about it that's why they would like be low key laughing at me but I remember one time they um, they put me in time out I was in my room and um, I remember they locked the door and I was so pissed I was <laughs> banging on the door <sighs> which I don't know how they managed to lock the door from the outside but they did it um, <laughs> and I just remember banging and banging and this is so psychotic this is so good. I know you're going to look at me and be like, I'm not surprised. But basically, I had a, a little friendship bead and I picked it up and I put it in my mouth. <laughs> and I fucking choked on You're an actual psychopath. What is wrong with you? Oh my I God, you're that me. kid. But, and, but the thing is, I swallowed it. Like I'm crying with it in my mouth and I swallowed it and... I just moved on from it. No it one did, saying No one came. No one came. I didn't even tell them. <laughs> I didn't even tell them. I just swallowed a freaking bead. And I remember vividly, it was like square, like cube with like a letter on it. Like it was one of those friends. A dice? Beads. It was a about, die? It was a little. A <laughs> it was close. It wasn't as big as a die, but it was like, it was like a friendship bracelet. But yeah, I. And I remember after that, I like stopped crying because I was like, well, this did nothing. That did nothing. And I just swallowed a beat. So like, I just shut up after that. You felt that. stupid, huh? I felt stupid. <laughs> no, because that's so I was like five, four years old. No, yeah. And you're just happy no one saw you. But then you just stared it out. So it doesn't no, matter now. No, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care. But no. I think about it often. No, because you know how that's so you? Yeah. You're, I'm going to tell you something and it's so me. <laughs> I was, I'm like a very gullible, like not gullible person, but like I'm easily like swayed into things, mm-hmm. I guess, I guess. Okay, so we'll get you some ice cream <laughs> if you shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, no, I, I was a very talkative kid, but I remember one time, I don't know, we were all sitting around the table, just me and my siblings. And mind you, I have four older siblings. I'm the youngest. Bunch of grown people. So we're all sitting there and I don't know what happened, but they go, Hidaya, dare you to touch the light bulb, to put your hand on the light bulb. <laughs> That's so, not your fault. So what did I do? Burned yourself. I walked my happy ass up onto the counter, and I, uh, and held it there for a minute. Like, a good, like, I did not move my hand for, like, quick off. Like, I kept it there for a second, to the point my whole hand was, like, burned. And my siblings are all standing around me, like, ah, like, and I was like, <laughs> Why would you tell, like, like, why would you tell a child yeah, to do that? Yeah, and also, like... Why would you let me get up there? Why would you, like, how did it get that say, far? Yeah, right. How did it get that far? Why was no one, like, hey, stop that's, it, Aya? That's evil. That's evil. I wonder why I'm like this. And then did you get yelled at afterwards? I feel like that's what happened to me as a kid. It's like... No, I remember, I just remember, like... Nobody would I just me. remember sitting there and they were putting, like, toothpaste. Someone was putting toothpaste on my hand to, like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Toothpaste you on know a that- burn? That sounds painful. You mean Neosporin? No, it was toothpaste. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's a thing, but I have, that toothpaste. doesn't make sense to me. I know it definitely is a thing because I know on like burns you can put toothpaste, you can put sugar. Sugar mm-hmm. works. Um, ice works. Ugh, but like, I imagine that's so painful though. No, it was super painful. Yeah. Super duper. I think that's why I also don't have like, I can touch things because I think I have burned off. I was off thinking about your burn my- the other day that you got from culinary. Oh, on my wrist? Yeah. Oh, that was so bad. I don't know. Have I ever talked about that? I was, I was, when I was working in a restaurant, like, last year, I had to make this, like, churro mix, so I'd have to, like, mix something in a pot, Mm -hmm. and then dump it in the mixer, in, like, the big boy, like, mixers, and it's a big, big pot, like, bigger than me type pot, and it's pure metal, so the bottom is pure, like, boiling hot, and I was pouring it, and, like, my wrist, like, came up, and it, like, touched the bottom of the pot and like it low-key got stuck because my hand wouldn't pull back from it and when i moved my hand i could literally see my skin peeling off <gasps> and that's why immediately e- but what was worse is like i couldn't drop the pot right. like i had like, to hold had the to pot and finish it, it and like go and put it in the sink and then i was like oh my hand's burned off 
And then I could I, see your reaction too, just like, oh, well, that happened. No, yeah, and then I had just had to put stuff on it and like wrap it for the you rest of the that's, day. That's all you got to do in a kitchen. And no, it was bad because I had gotten there at like what my day started at eight. It happened at like nine. Oh, so it you was like to tough it out the whole day. It was like the whole day with yeah. it. Like it wasn't even at the end of the We're day. We're not gonna be like, oh, let's call go your mom. home. Go no, home, yeah. babe. No. Yeah. I I had Saran wrap on my arm. People at one be point. cutting off their saran finger. Saran like, wrap. It's gonna keep going. Bree, there's saran wrap around my arm at one point. Yeah, that sounds about right. No, because I remember it scraped on a metal thing, and <sighs> my skin peeled off one of the days, and it was so bad. No, because that's like that was raw. so bad. That was so bad. You can still see the scar. It's still there. You know what I think of when I think of burns? You know exactly what I think of. Oh. You can tell that story. Okay. I was not... <laughs> I was I was in my room. I was not really present for this. She was there. She knows exactly I what happened. I heard everything, but I was not there. I was in my room, and I didn't come out till a while later. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> This was at our last apartment. We had many roommates. There was a stupid guy neighbor. He was there at the house. And one of our roommates was cooking something. They were heating up the oil. Like, the oil was heating up way too long. Because she was helping the other girl get we ready were, for, yeah, the, like, we her were, dinner. So she left the oil for really yeah. long. And it started smoking. It really, like, wasn't even bad. But, but it just gets a little smoky after a little bit. But, yeah, we smelled hot. the yeah. oil, like, burnt off. And... The idiot guy came, ran out of the room from helping her, grabs the pan, thinking. I got it. I got, I got it. it. I, I got, got it. it. Don't it worry. Is. Don't worry. I don't know what happens, but when he I, grabbed I it, it was the oil like went on him. And think about it. This is like this is piping hot oil. Piping, like, scorching oil. It's not I like think it's, what it's he worse did than was water. He grabbed it aggressively. And it so went it, back at it, him. It like just at him. And when he did and that. And he grabbed his hand. It like got it, all over his hand burnt oh my god there's a fly in the room oh my there's god. a fly in the room <gasps> oh my god oh my god oh my god <gasps> he freaked out screamed bloody murder we're like just like the thing is he him. also when it hit him he threw it up he threw it so up the oil went up in the air and it could have hit any of our animals we had yes. four animals in the yes. house it could have hit anyone it could have we any, already didn't like girls. this guy at this point so. and it could have hit any of them so like oh yeah he just wasn't thinking yeah. like then puts it to the freaking sink and puts it the water, the water running. The whole apartment is fogged out. The alarm's going off. Like it is a mess. And it was um it was and I just remember me and the one girl just standing there. You came out, looked, went back into your room. We were just standing there no, in no. shock. We did not know what to do because obviously like, I heard all the screaming, so I came out, but it was literally all foggy and smoking. Everyone was screaming, so I literally just went like this and I turned around. I was like, that's not my problem. I was not out here. I don't know what happened. I went no. my room. Obviously, I mean, they ended up at the hospital and with, like, you know, I came out like degree after burns. they left and I asked and then I was like, Ooh. because what the heck? I couldn't help but laugh, though. Like, why would you grab no, that? Why would you why would you do that? Men like, like to help. Men love to try to help, but they make it help, worse. But they always make it worse. Don't I just don't it. understand. Just don't touch things that you don't know. It's fine. When I was working at the chocolate shop that we worked at, you were working there at that same time when I passed out, right? Or no? Had you not gotten no, there yet? No, no, I wasn't there oh. yet. Wait. No, I did in August, and you started no, September. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I was going to say it was close, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was the next month. Okay. So it was like the morning shift or like the afternoon shift. It was just me and the like the owner of the store there that day. Scratch that. It was the evening shift, and but the, man, the owner was the only one in the morning that day. That's why, because there was no one else there. And the girl who was coming in to work the evening shift with me wasn't there yet. So when I got there, I was, like, just doing the regular stuff I do. He was talking about randomness. Literally, he said we were talking about cleaner, like, <laughs> soap. Like, that's what we were talking about. And I was standing by, like, the register. And, like, it's a small little walkway in between, like, a counter and a register. There's not much Literally in the back. could fit two people. Yeah, so like, it's a very thin thing. So I'm standing there. He's talking to me, and I just pass out. I drop and i like hit my head on the counter and then the cash register and then it go down and he's trying to wake me up i remember waking up the first time and he's on the phone like with 911 and i'm like please hang up i'm like please don't call like call my dad like no, he's a co- that's like I'm like, a couple bands, bro. bro we live in america no because i had not- 
Bro, I had the freaking hospital on me for, like, a while after that. Because I was like, I told you not to call it ambulance. Like, I did not want ambulance ride. Mind you, the hospital is across the street from where we work. It's two minutes. Like, put me in an the Uber. The thing is, the work and the company should have paid for it. And the no, fact they, that did. He, they did. They did. They oh, did. They did. They did. They did. They did. Okay, they did. good. He did. He did. Because, no, I, cause I told him, I was like, please don't call it ambulance. Like, I don't want to, like, just call my dad. He's across the street. He'll come get me. But I passed out again. Yeah, I think so that's why he was like, yeah. He didn't really, he didn't really care what I said, like a new, normal person would. He called the ambulance. And the thing is, I briefly remember waking up in the ambulance and having a conversation and trying to leave. I was literally like, I'm fine. I'm good. And they, know, they people uh, say it all the time. And they're like, no, sweetie, you're going to have to go down. And I passed out again in there with them. So, like, <laughs> and then the next time I wake up, I'm in, like, literally the hospital with just everyone around me. And because it was, like, after COVID. So, like, my parents, my dad wasn't allowed in. So, I just remember waking up. I was so confused. The first thing I did, I put on my phone. I posted on Snapchat. I posted on then Snapchat. Then passed out again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, basically, I was so, like, blacked out. And now, like, I don't remember. Because yeah, didn't you not know that you posted Because it? I didn't even realize I posted on Snapchat. Like, the video I took was so, like disoriented and then i just remember like looking back at my phone and i have like messages and they're like are you okay and i'm like how do you know i'm here and i was so confused. like that's I was, sick that's sick. no i was that whole day felt like a fever because like i was passed out for majority of it i'm excited and scared for the solar eclipse april 8th I'm excited because we we've seen a solar eclipse before. I remember when we I got out of school. I don't remember it. You don't remember I don't it. Remember I remember it. I took some really dope pictures. You remember it, but I don't. And like it was like sophomore year. It was like years ago, know. but like our sophomore year. But it was really cool. And I remember like the way the shadows on the floor was like so crazy. No, I'm and excited. And you're like you can't look at it. Don't look at it because it will damage your eyes. I'm and excited. I low key looked a little bit, and my eyes were watering. But I was fine. But now everyone on the internet is talking about like. There's going to be a power outage, which I did search it up and it was debunked. Like, that's just the media being the media. But yeah. it's still like, I'm scared still. And the thing is, like I was saying to you, like, it's I get scared every time they do something Even though like you this. know something. They do. Negative. And the thing is, I've decided this time I'm not going to be scared because every time nothing happens. And yeah. I'm sitting there like, oh, my phone's working. No. Like, oh, we're fine. Guys, it's not going to be like, the end of the world. No, it's not going to like. Yeah, but I'm I mean, still it might. About it. it really might. I'm still like, I don't know. Well, you Who know knows? What? Right before Eid, it could be a sign. Who knows? Who knows? But I'm still going to spend those moments, though, on the roof. and You're not going to be outside during a solar eclipse, just on the roof? Of course. Prime vision into the sun. What's wrong with you? I'm not going to stare into That's it. You're sounding like you're going to stare into it. No, I put on sunglasses and then, like, take pictures. I'm going to take pictures and videos. And now. I'm going to do it with a nice camera because before I did it with like a old iPhone. Don't get locked on the roof. Imagine. And then there's an outage and I'm just stuck on the no roof stranded. At least no, but that's a good thing. Nobody would come and get me because I would be scared of it. It would be like the purge. You wouldn't want to be on the roof. You wouldn't survive on the roof for that long, Bray. <laughs> Are you scared? Do you wish I was going to be here? I would wish anyone. That's why I told what's his face like. If there's an outage, like, please come. Because the guy's going to be out of town and be alone. I told my friend. I was like, if there's something that happens and I can't text you and all of the power is gone, you need to walk to my apartment. Because, like, I just, like, I cannot be alone for that. Are you kidding me? No, yeah. I mean, I can, but it's, like, it would be nice. What if they got to go killed to the world? Coming, coming to you? I know that, but that's why I said I wasn't walking there. That's why I said he has to walk here. I think he would bring a weapon. He laughed, but he low-key was, like, he, like... He didn't say, like, I was stupid or anything. Like, he was like, okay, I will. Like, I will. Like, if anything happens, like, this is that. And they're like, I know how to get I know how to get Like, it was like, okay, so, like, you are thinking that it could happen. That's what freaked me out because he's a very realistic person. Like, what the heck? I don't want to be in Florida if it hits. Sorry. That's not going to be good for me. I mean, nothing's going to happen, guys. I'm, it's definitely... Also, yeah, I don't believe it. Nothing's gonna happen. Like, even those posts that are saying, like, oh, the schools are shutting down, like, what's going on on April 8th, like... Those are, are they actually shutting down schools? Not that I heard. I have a lot of little siblings. Their schools are not getting shut down in all different, in different states. (sighs) Okay, so I think that's all we got for tonight. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Love you guys. See you next Wednesday. Bye. Bye.